What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I am recreating, oh also if you saw it in the thumbnail, I am recreating Megan Thee Stallion's Cry Baby Ponytail look. I thought it was so cute. I literally took my braids out for this, so make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment if you wanna see any other kind of looks, but we're just gonna get right into it because I'm so excited to do this. Literally, the video just came out yesterday and I was like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Took my braids out when it got the supplies this morning and now let's go we're just gonna jump right in so i'm actually gonna start with the hair my hair looks really janky right now like i said i took out braids yesterday very much giving lord farquad right now we're gonna move on the reason i decided to do this is because it's literally super super simple i'm just gonna put my mirror in front of me so i can see also i'm gonna look at the picture i'm gonna insert it up here but from the front, in the video, she like did a twirl at the end. So I could see that the back is like zigzag. And then the front, the part like this, and then it zigzags in the back. Or it might be zigzagged at the top. I'm not, <laughs> hang on. Probably wanna wear my hoodie. So it actually is like a little, it's like a line, it's like big zigzag. What Megan doesn't have here is a widow's peak and I do have one, so I'm gonna have to finesse that. I think I'm gonna just try to part like next to it. So I'm gonna just try to part next to this. Pull back like that which I think I'm fine with, because if not, the alternative is to pull out my widow's peak and then just have additional baby hairs, even though she doesn't have that. But you know, this is a recreation, not a exact, you know, kind of thing. So I don't know, do we see additional baby hair layage? You know what, I just, I'm just gonna focus. You guys can just watch. I'm gonna see what I'm about to do because I, I look crazy, so I don't wanna look crazy for too long. So you guys, I decided to keep the widow's peak in and I just did big zigzags going all the way to the back of my head. At this point, my head was itching really bad and I had to take a little oil break because my scalp was dry, and so I had to resolve that before we went any further. I ended up using the mirror that was meant for decoration to actually just make sure my parting was right in the back because I was like, oh no, it's got to be perfect. So once I did that, I was ready to lay my hair down. So I used my favorite gel, which is the Eco Styler Crystal Gel. And I used a bristle brush to smooth and low key detangle as well. And then I used some edge booster, which is my favorite edge control to just lay down the flyaways and just help this be as smooth as possible. I ended up redoing that side of the ponytail like five times because I just could not get it right. But this was on my final attempt and I think they both came out looking pretty nice. I would say if you want this hairstyle to last longer, like get a nice quality of braiding hair, but I just knew this was gonna be in for like two days. So I just used the cheapest hair I could find. And then I braided my hair down because I needed it to be able to be concealed easily. And my hair didn't match the texture of the braiding hair. I left this regular speed because I wanted you guys to see the technique of like how I actually attached the ponytails. And I will actually leave the video that I learned this technique from in the description box because that video is literally amazing. And I've used this um, technique for all of the ponytails that I've done since because it just makes so much sense. It makes your hair look so realistic. Like, do you see how it looks like it's growing out of that ponytail holder? Like, that's amazing. So this piece was already coming out and I knew I wanted to wrap some hair around. So that's what I was gonna do anyways. So I just kind of brushed it out and just wrapped it around like usual. 
if you want this style again to like last longer or be a style you wear for longer i would suggest using like got to be spray um while you twist it around the ponytail holder but other than that it was actually pretty secure without me using any additional products At this point, I was feeling myself. I was like, girl, you just body, that looks so nice. And then of course, the Lord humbles you because this side was giving me problems. The braid had come a loose and it wasn't blending in between the hair like the other side. And I was like, Lord, I'm so sorry for being so vain. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I can still make it work though. So I did, I finessed it and it was looking right. So then I had to lay out some baby hairs. I would definitely recommend laying your baby hairs before you do the ponytails or when you're doing like your hair ponytails because I just felt like I couldn't get my full range of motion. Like I just couldn't finagle it, finagle it, finagle it how I needed to. Like I couldn't, you know, flip it back, brush through and everything because I kept running into the ponytails. But I still think the edges came out well, I redid the other side because it was looking like Struggle City over there. So I redid it, but I think they ended up coming out pretty nice. To seal all this in, I went ahead and sprayed some spray on there just to hold down the edges, catch any flyaways, everything like that, secure it. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I made the hair bobbles. So I got some styrofoam balls and some dowels from Michaels. And basically I just used the dowel to stick a hole through the styrofoam ball in order to make the like bobble like shape. And I tried to aim low on the circle just because that's how like a hair bobble is. And yeah like it was really easy just basically if you watch you'll see how it all came together but it honestly felt like i was doing like a science project or something <laughs> Once I finished all of the balls, putting the holes through, I went outside to spray paint them blue. And so this was easy to do, but I did a lot of the painting outside and then I moved in to do like a final coat. It was kind of windy out there, which is why I couldn't record long out there anyways. So I just kind of did a last final coat on the inside just to make sure everything was together. And then once they were dry, it only took like 30 minutes for them to be dry. I took some ribbon in order to actually make it be able to tie to my hair and I looped it through and yeah, basically just tied it on afterwards. I don't show you guys that process, but that's really what I did to tie them onto my hair later on. Okay, time for the makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna start by using the Milk Hydra Grip. As you guys saw, I just finished my hair. I needed to not talk during that because, and I'm gonna be looking down because my mirror's down here. But I needed to not talk during that because that required some focus. Like, that was a lot. It's very simple, like it's a really simple style, but for whatever reason, I usually can't like talk and do this at the same time if it's like for the very first time. And I can do ponytails. I can do a ponytail. But I needed to focus to really get it right. And I think I'll body, but we, we not there yet. We'll wait for the reveal. But okay, so we just got that on there. And then I actually am gonna start with the eyes. And I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. I'm gonna do them off camera because they're just gonna take a million years and I'm not even really good at eyebrows. So I'm gonna come back when they're done. So I did my brows, but this one is looking a little, I don't know, it looks crazy to me. Hang on, wait a second. Hopefully the rest of my face will help bring it together, but we're just gonna go on. So next, I'm gonna just do the eyes first. So I just got today this Tarte um, shape tape. I wanted to try it out, so 
I'm gonna use that to prime my lids. And I had forgot to put my contacts in y'all, so that was gonna be a mistake. I'm gonna now go in with the color, so I'm only gonna focus on my actual like lid part because in her in the pictures like the makeup or the eyeshadow is only focused like in on the lid basically I don't feel like I feel like mine is like more I have more like fold than she does so it seems easier I guess to go in there but I'm just gonna start it along I'm gonna just do what I do and y'all can watch because it's hard for me to explain what I'm about to do because I just be freestyling I just be looking and seeing and then doing so that's what i'm about to do y'all just gonna watch me do what i do for the rest if i have anything else to say i will pop in but i'm gonna just make it to do what it do i'm gonna try to show the products but i might put them in the description box too i'm not gonna make any promises but maybe you'll see them there i'm gonna make it happen so just watch I just wanted to pop in and say yes I am using the same brush for applying every color and that winging this out was like the worst decision I could have made. I wish now I would have committed to the wing because that would have probably made this easier but I was like no hers isn't winged so I end up trying to fix it and resolve it which you'll see later but it still comes out looking okay but you'll see later. And I also am so angry that I forgot to put the shimmer in the inner eye corner like what like that was a key thing and it's so crazy because I use the palette that I have to as a mirror so I'm looking at the palette this whole time like I'm literally looking into this palette for this entire process and I still forgot to put the inner corner highlight on so I am so upset with myself I can't even It was at this point that I went entirely powder crazy, so please excuse this. Like, I realized it as I was doing it. The Laura Mercier, she thicker than she lead on because, child, I was looking like powdered donut. I knew I could bring it back, 
again, so I wasn't too pressed, but just ignore this. This is this is a lot. This is a this is a mess. <laughs> Here I forgot to contour and I honestly forgot to contour my nose too. There was a lot of things I was forgetting and honestly a few things I would change at this point, but we're here now and so I forgot to contour so I did it after. I didn't have any issues with that, but you cannot tell me you don't see the difference in the snatched face when you do the contour. So period, we had to get it done regardless. It's so funny because at this moment I was looking at my face and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like something's missing. And you know what it was? That inner corner highlight. It would have set it all the way off, but it's okay. The look still came out bomb. These lips, I mean, it was a lot of trial and error, which is why I just cut out all of my process of getting to them. but I'm really happy with how this look came out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also go to my Instagram and check out the reel that I did because I did that first and I got like a lot of positive response on that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.